Uh, Sumaya from Dubai. In Surah Anfal, Ayah 72, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that those who believed and embraced Islam but did not migrate to Islamic State, you are under no obligation to protect them until they immigrate. Yet it is your obligation to help them in the matters of faith if they ask for your help. So uh, how can we help them? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that it is, an oblig it is your obligation to help them. Okay. I will uh, try to answer your question. Uh, uh, Sumaya from Dubai says in Surah Al-Anfal, verse 72. Um, and if we were to uh, go to that verse, it would not take us a lot, inshallah. Surah Al-Anfal. And this is verse 72. And it, it's a long verse. Where Allah Azza wa Jal says, uh, those who believed uh, emigrated and strived with their wealth and lives in the cause of Allah, as well as those who gave them shelter and uh, help, they are truly guardians of one another. Okay, this is understood. I is talking about the bond between the believers uh, among themselves. They are guardians of one another. As for those who believed, but did not immigrate. You have no obligation to them until they emigrate. But if they seek your help against persecution in faith, it is your obligation to help them except, and this is what she did not read, except against people bound with you in a treaty. So what does that mean? It means that the Muslims are brothers and they are like bricks of a wall each brick tightens the other and supports it and this is how all muslims should be whether you are in the states or in europe or in the middle east or in china or in india muslims are brothers we don't care what color you are we don't care what ethnicity you are uh, originally from we care whether you say Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu an Muhammadan Rasulullah or not. So if you say it, then you are my brother. And I shake hands with you. And I embrace you. And I say Assalamu alaikum whenever I see you. When I do not do this with a non Muslim, he's an acquaintance, he's a normal person. I don't have any bond, uh, uh, bond. I do not have any bond towards the non-Muslim, even if he's from my same country. So even if he's from my own country, from my own village, from my own tribe, from my own people, but he is a secularist or an atheist or speaks ill about Islam, he's not from me, he doesn't belong to me. Even if he shares my, 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 my parents, he's my sibling, but he doesn't belong to me. My uh, uh, allegiance is to that who is a Muslim. But if that Muslim is being prosecuted and did not migrate, Allah tells us that it is his fault for not migrating. You cannot support him because he is living in a Kafir country. Now, if he's prosecuted and he's unable to migrate, then it's the duty of the Muslims at large to help. Except if he is living in a country that has treaties with us Muslims. So most two countries that have treaties and one country that has a treaty is prosecuting Muslims. The Muslims are, their hands are tied because they cannot break the treaties they have. And the Muslims there must do their level best to migrate. If we can't help them, we make dua for them. We support them with money if we can deliver that to them and with whatever uh, uh, things in our possession and finally